I may as well, one of the posting updates may as well do on, on this uh, Rheem hybrid water heater. Uh, there's the plate, manufactured in May of 2019, so I guess it's three years plus old now, almost three and a half, huh? Um, so far it's been perfect. I have nothing to, to say about it, which is uh, the highest uh, compliment I can give. I still run it at 140 degrees, and there's a thermal mixing valve on there, which apparently a lot of people can't grasp the concept of, judging by the comments in the other video, but hey, that's on them. Um, yeah, uh, it's I run it at 140 because I can basically dump solar energy. I always produce solar, you know, excess solar energy, so I'm always looking for places to stash it. This is one of the places I can stash it. So if I heat it from, I think it comes preset at 120, but I go up to 140, and then this mixing valve takes care of it. So basically, if your water is at 140, and it, the mixing valve adds cold water to it from this line right here, you're going to get 100, I think I got it set for like 110 degrees coming out. And uh, it's you know, perfectly usable, and you get, I don't know how much more, not twice as much um, capacity out of it, but... You know, you're probably getting another third of, uh, you know, what would you call that? Um, realized capacity, maybe, or something like that. Out of the amount of water that it does hold, which, how much does it hold? 50 gallons in the upper right corner there, yeah. So, that's why I did it. Uh, once again, just the fact that I have nothing to add is probably the highest compliment I can pay it. So, I'm... I'll let you know if it goes bad. <laughs> Trust me.